one. I got my hand right. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Yoon again, and I am back for the third and final installment of the Knuckle Bunny books. The last book in the series is called Knuckle Bunny Free. Free with an F. Not three, like the number. Remember how I said yesterday the title was a little different? Yeah. And we can see that Trixie is a little older. So, Nuffle Bunny Free, An Unexpected Diversion by Mo Willis. I'm excited to read it. It's the last one. All right, so this is the end page. We've got Nuffle Bunny. It looks like he's flying through the air. And here is the title page with all the pictures. So we saw all of those pictures in the previous books. And now here's the new one. Trixie and Nuffle Bunny appear to be peering over at something. Hmm. Wonder what it's gonna be. Let's find out. Here we go. One day, not so long ago, Trixie took a big trip with her family. They were on their way to visit Trixie's Oma and Opa in Holland. Holland is very far away. So Oma and Opa are words for grandparents. Her Oma is her grandma and Opa is her grandpa. So that meant taking a taxi to the airport, waiting in line, watching Nuffle Bunny go through the big machine, waiting some more, and finally, getting onto a real airplane! Have you ever traveled on an airplane before? It's really fun. On the plane, Trixie played, and read, and slept. Before she knew it, the plane had landed. Trixie and her family left the airport and got on a train to go to... Oma and Opa's house. Oma and Opa were so happy to see Trixie. Soon, Oma and Trixie were drinking cold glasses of chocolate milk in the garden. Mm. Suddenly, Trixie realized something. Uh-oh. This kind of reminds me of the first story where Trixie realized something. What do you think she realized? Uh-oh. Trixie didn't tell her daddy that Nuffle Bunny was gone. She didn't have to. So she did not have to say a word. All she had to do was take a look at her daddy and he knew that something was wrong. He knew that Nuffle Bunny was missing. Trixie's daddy called the airline and asked them to look for Nuffle Bunny on the plane. But the plane had left for China. China is very far away. Oh no. So not only did Nuffle Bunny get left on the plane, but now the plane is on the way to China. Oh, that's not good. Trixie's mommy hugged her and asked her to be brave. Trixie's daddy told the story of when he was a little boy and said goodbye to his special Lanny. Oma gave Trixie another glass of chocolate milk and remarked on how big she was getting. Trixie understood. She was getting bigger. Mmm, chocolate milk is really yummy. Do you like chocolate milk? Did you know you can also have strawberry milk? Oh, it's so good. Even if she wished she wasn't. The next morning, Trixie tried to enjoy going to the cafe and the swings in the playground, and the carnival that was in town. Oh, so Trixie is doing a lot of fun things, but if you take a look at her face, she's not having fun at all. 
She must be very upset about losing Nuffle Bunny. And while the whole week was filled with fun things, like eating french fries on the street, and visiting real windmills, and feeding the ducks, Trixie was still sad. She missed her Nuffle Bunny. Oma and Opa understood. Oma and Opa had a plan. That night, they had a surprise for Trixie. A brand new top of the line, funny bunny, bunny doll extreme. It could walk. It could dance. It could speak in Dutch, but it couldn't make Trixie feel any better. Oh, so they bought her a new bunny, hoping that that would make her feel better, but it didn't work. Trixie was sure that she wouldn't be able to sleep another night in a strange bed without her Nuffle Bunny. But before she knew it, she was dreaming. Now these pages get pretty big. So it opens up like this and like this. Oh, can you see it? Oh, it's so big. Ugh, okay, I gotta close this side. I'll show you the pictures. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I gotta read it like this and then I'll show you the pictures. <laughs> Look how big this is. She dreamed of Nuffle Bunny and all the places he would visit. She dreamed of all of the children Nuffle Bunny would meet. She dreamed of how Nuffle Bunny would make them feel better. So now she is dreaming about all of the things that Nuffle Bunny would be doing. Ooh. These are some interesting pages, huh? All right, now I have to fold them back up. It's like wrapping a present. Do you remember at the start of the book on the end page, we saw Nuffle Bunny and it looked like he was flying through the air? There he is now. The next morning, Trixie felt better. So she was super sad about losing Nuffle Bunny, but now she's thinking that maybe Nuffle Bunny is having lots of adventures and is making other children happy. And that's making her happy. Trixie had a big breakfast. She played with Oma on the playground swings. She even tried a sip of Opa's coffee at the cafe. It was a great day. And it looks here like Trixie didn't really like the taste of coffee. Do you like coffee? Coffee has a very strong taste. Not a lot of kids like coffee, but maybe you do. Before she knew it, the trip was over and it was time to go home. Trixie hugged Oma and Opa as hard as she could. Then Trixie and her family got back onto the train and back onto the plane. So now they are getting ready to go home. And listen to the crying baby as the plane lifted off. Wow! Kind of like what Trixie did when she was a baby in the first story. Remember how upset she got? <laughs> but can you believe it? Right there on that very plane, Trixie noticed something. What does she see? enough to make a decision. Trixie turned around and said, would your baby like my Nuffle Bunny? Really? asked the baby's mother. Really? asked Trixie's daddy. Really? 
asked Trixie's mommy. Blaggy Plaggy? asked the baby. <laughs> Everyone seems so shocked that she's willing to give up her Nuffle Bunny. She loves him so much, but she's trying to be kind. Really, said Trixie. She was big enough. The baby was happy. The baby's mother was thankful. Trixie's parents were proud. And the other passengers were very relieved. Whew. The other people on the plane are very excited that the baby is happy and is not crying anymore. <laughs> and that is how a few weeks later, Trixie received her very first letter. And if you look on this page, you'll see that pigeon. Do you see him? <laughs> All right, so she's gotten a letter from the family that she gave Nuffle Bunny to. And it's got a picture of the baby with Nuffle Bunny and they wrote her a letter. And it says, the end. And now Mo Willems has written a letter to Trixie, his daughter. It says, a note to Trixie. Trixie, I hope to watch you grow up, fall in love, start a family, and be happy. And I hope that one day, many years from now, you will receive a package and he's got pictures of her going through lots of important parts of her life. From an old pen pal. Love, Daddy. So, in this note, it is showing Trixie growing up. So she's graduating, she fell in love and got married and had a baby of her own. And now, at the very end, she is a grown up with her own baby and now her baby has a Nuffle Bunny. Ah, isn't that so neat? Oh, and there's Nuffle Bunny flying through the air. The end. Oh, I love the Nuffle Bunny books. They are so great. And I want you to tell me which one was your favorite. Did you like the first Nuffle Bunny? Where Trixie and her daddy went to the laundromat and Nuffle Bunny got lost in the washing machine? Or did you like Nuffle Bunny 2, where Trixie and Sonia each had Nuffle Bunnies and they got mixed up? Or was your favorite the third one, Nuffle Bunny Free? I want you to tell me which one was your favorite. I hope you enjoyed being with me during the Nuffle Bunny series, and I will see you tomorrow.